Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment, moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or formulations or ingredients, something you may have heard about or read about in the news, if you have a client or a patient that you're dealing with that you're just frustrated with, or if you yourself are dealing with a health challenge and you just don't know where to go, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let us show you how easy and simple it can be to reverse chronic degenerative diseases of all kinds. I don't care what they are. The body is designed to be healthy. The body is designed to be whole. The body is not designed to be sick in a chronic and long-term fashion, and there are mechanisms in place in all human bodies to reduce and reverse whatever chronic degenerative disease you may have, and we are here for you on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. This is your, your uncommon, common sense nutritional program. We talk about things on this program that you don't hear about on other health and nutrition shows. This is a program for smart people. If you're a listener, you have not bought into the dogma. Dogma is defined as a belief or a set of beliefs that is accepted based on authority. This is the definition of dogma. Beliefs that are accepted just because somebody tells you that they are so. And then they're held as incontrovertibly fact. They're held to be true just because somebody said they're true. And this is the literal definition of dogma. Dogma is a belief that's held to be true based on somebody telling us it's true without any factual basis or without being questioned or doubted. That's the literal definition of dogma. And we live in a world that's dominated by dogma, political dogma about tax cuts and spending and the role of government. We've got religious dogma. That's where the word dogma uh, uh, first uh, First, it was started as a religious concept. Dogma is a religious concept primarily. It's where the idea originated. Muslims have dogmas about Muhammad. Christians have dogmas about Christ. Jews have dogmas about Moses. We create entire biographies from dogma, and then we worship those biographies with no more proof than than the fact that somebody told us they're so or, or that they're written in a book. This is the difference between spirituality and dogma, by the way. Religions have dogmas. Spirituality is an internal knowing and an internal feeling that has nothing to do with what somebody else tells us is true. The most insidious, the sneakiest, the worst form of dogma is health dogma because this affects our most intimate, uh, the most intimate and, and important aspect of our lives. That is our bodies. Nothing more important than our bodies. Nothing matters once our bodies fall apart. Health dogma is the sneakiest and worst and most insidious of all dogmas. If you're in a statin drug, rest assured, you bought into the dogma. I get a, a letters about elevated cholesterol every single day. Oh, my cholesterol is high. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm on a statin drug. I want to get off it. 
well-meaning, intelligent people who understand that statin drugs are not in their interest will want to know how to lower their cholesterol. Well, guess what? If you want to lower your cholesterol, you bought into dogma. It's a dogma that cholesterol is uh, the cause of heart disease and that you lower your cholesterol and you'll somehow not get a heart attack. That's dogma. That's not scientific fact. That's dogma. If, you're, if you go right to the doctor when you're sick, you're bought into the dogma. This is why no matter, uh, this is why no matter how, uh, how sick we get or how little the doctor helps us, I should say, we still go back because we bought into the dogma that the doctor knows what he's doing. I'm not here to rip on doctors. I, I, you know, they're the, that's the low-hanging fruit. It's too easy to rip on doctors. I don't want to do that. And I have a lot of friends who are doctors, and they're nice people. It's the medical model. It's based on dogma. If you have a skin condition or a digestive condition in the first place, you go for relief as the medical model or the doctor, you've been, you bought into dogma. That's why we keep going. The scientific fact, the un dogmatic fact, the non-dogmatic fact, the anti-dogmatic fact, and facts are anti-dogmatic, chronic all, this is all chronic long-term progressive degenerative disease, disease that does not get better, is a reaction to something. It follows an action. Now, that can be a negative action in the sense that it's something we're not doing or a positive action in the sense that it's something we are doing. And that action is almost, almost always in our control. So if you're dealing with multiple sclerosis or autoimmune diseases or asthma or eczema or high blood pressure, rest assured, it's something that we're doing. And this is not to beat anybody up. This is just to get control. The vast majority of our disease states are violations of natural law. The wrong things are getting into our body. The right things aren't. It really is as simple as that, folks. If you're dealing with a long-term chronic degenerative disease, the kind of diseases that affect, you know, that really are, are the, form the bulk of our disease crisis, 80% of our health challenges are long-term chronic degenerative diseases. 80% of our health costs can be measured in the trillions of dollars are based are, are are the result of our misunderstanding and abuse really of our bodies via violations of natural law the body has evolved over millions of years to be pretty darn close to perfect in terms of its biochemistry it's self-repairing it's self-healing and with the exception of trauma and of accident it should never ever ever need a doctor of course, we live in a toxic world, and, you, and the fact that we're poisoned by our food and our air and our water every day, you've got to take that into account. But that doesn't negate the fact that we have a tremendous amount of control over our bodies through the lifestyle choices that we make. And this is why I call this program The Bright Side. It's the good news about health and healing that once we understand, it will liberate us from the tyranny of this dogmatic paradigm, this model, this self-serving medical model that in the case of chronic long-term degenerative diseases at least has presided over the biggest, most widespread health crisis in the history of mankind. But of course, that doesn't matter because when it comes right down to it, we don't need dogma. We don't need authorities to access our God-given abilities to be healthy, to get healthy, to stay healthy. All right, so we've been talking about fiber. We've been talking about it for a while, and there's lots to say about this stuff, and, which I find ironic because fiber is really, in many ways, it's inert. But there are some really powerful aspects to certain forms of fiber. We spent a lot of time talking about beta-glucan. What makes beta-glucan interesting from a chemistry point of view is its utter simplicity. It is just basically glucose, one of the simplest molecules in all of biochemistry. Now. The thing about beta-glucan is it's a string of glucose. It's a long chain of glucose. Glucose is a very simple little molecule, but you string it together, you get this long chain, kind of like a long chain of cotton candy, a long strand of cotton candy. Remember, chemistry is about tinker toys, and the chemical called fiber, or glucan, is just a bunch of glucose chunks strung together to form a chain. But by virtue of these connections, something very interesting happens with these, uh, with these little chunks, little pieces of glucose. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. 
right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for listening, friends. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, and 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben. uh, brightsideben.com, also uh, pharmacistben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the U.K. for setting that up, as well as Robert Lundgren for doing pharmacistben.com. You can purchase Longevity products off the websites as well. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a Longevity business, and I can help you grow your business. We can do three-way phone calls. I travel all over the country to help support my distributors, my teammates. I'm going to be actually in Tulsa next week. On the 27th, that's the next Tuesday night, at the Wyndham Hotel on 41st Street. I'll have to get you the address here later on. That'll be 7 p.m. for my friend Rich Stocks. And then I'll be in Phoenix for three days, or Phoenix area, I should say, uh, for three days on the 4th and the 5th and the 6th of October. And as, uh, at, I'm sorry, is that right? Let me see if that's right here. Uh, no, no, that's not right. The 10th and the 11th and the 12th of October. Um, that's in Phoenix. But we'll get you more information uh, as the days go by about Phoenix and then Tulsa next week on the 27th. And that's all to support my teammates. If you are interested in joining the Brightside Ben team, I can support your team. I can support your business as well. Uh, call... Uh, 866-735-2470. Tell them you want to join the Brightside Ben team, or you can sign up right off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, if you're dealing with acne, if you're dealing with accelerated aging, wrinkles, or dark spots, nothing is better for dark spots than our Truth 5% Retinol Cream. It's also uh, retinol gel, I should say, also great for acne blemishes to prevent acne, to accelerate the healing of acne, and of course, retinol is your go-to number one most important anti-aging topical skin ingredient along with vitamin C and guess what you also get a whole bunch of vitamin C in our truth retinol 5% gel you're not gonna find that in any other retinol products you're not gonna find 5% retinol and you're not gonna find 25% fat soluble premium very pricey by the way uh, stabilized, moisturizing, anti-aging vitamin C. That's uh, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, along with our Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all available at truthtreatments.com. Okay, so we're talking about fiber, and uh, I, I find this stuff fascinating because it's inert. Basically, it's undigestible. That's the definition of fiber. It's undigestible or indigestible. You can't digest it. That is, we can't digest it, and animals can't digest it, but bacteria can digest it. Bacteria that live in our gut can digest it and transform it into other important substances, substances that are keto-friendly, by the way. You know, we've been, we, we started this whole discussion about fiber and about, we, we've talked about fats and carnitine. We're going to talk about niacin later. We're going to talk about short-chain fats. We're going to talk a lot about fats here. And we started this whole discussion when we started talking about the ketogenic diet many months ago. And by the way, uh, I'm going to be doing some more videos on the ketogenic diet. I'll let you know, uh, let you know about those. I'm doing one tomorrow for criticalhealthnews.com. And I'll be doing another one for uh, Amanda Wright out here on on Thursday, uh, coming up Thursday, and we'll let you know about those. In any case, uh, fiber is very keto-friendly. Bacteria munch down on the fiber and release keto-friendly compounds out of that fiber. And these long chains of fiber sometimes have their own medicinal properties, even independent of their digestion by bacteria. These uh, uh, glucans or long chains of glucose, they're not digestible, but they do have some interesting medical and therapeutic properties, especially when it comes to the immune system and especially when it comes to cancer. How amazingly cool is that? You've got this basically inert substance that somehow or another can react with our immune cells to turn on immunity. We talked about beta-glucan um, several weeks ago. We talked about, well, actually, we've been talking a lot about beta-glucan, and I absolutely love beta-glucan. It's a long chain of glucose molecules. It takes a weird kind of shape. They call a beta shape. When a long chain of glucose molecules is stuck together, it's called a glucan, and this weird shape, this weird beta shape, gives the, the molecule the name beta-glucan. 
And beta-glucan is amazing stuff. Amazing. I talked to, uh, well, Jebby's got a couple of products, uh, Restart Your Life products, RYL Beta 500, which is just straight beta-glucan, and then another one called RVB 300, which is beta-glucan along with resveratrol and vitamin C. And I talked to uh, a gentleman at the Longevity Convention a couple weeks ago, the guy who started the Restart Your Life company, uh, Wayne Cordell and his wife Joyce. And I had a nice conversation with them. I've talked to them in the past. And I'm going to get him on the radio show because he's got a great story to tell about his personal uh, uh, experience with beta-glucan for dealing with his own personal cancer. And it's a very inspiring story if you're dealing with any kind of, uh, if you're dealing with cancer, which obviously is a horrific diagnosis. I will have him on the program here, um, hopefully in the next week or two. Restart Your Life, Beta 500, and RVB 300 are both available from your longevity rep if you're interested. Beta-glucan, as I say, is a cancer prevention substance. It can help reduce the symptoms, and it can also help improve chemotherapy. If you're dealing with chemotherapy, it can make your chemotherapy more effective, and it can reduce your symptoms of chemotherapy as well. Beta-glucan has been used to uh, boost the immune system of HIV, HIV patients. It also has cardiovascular health benefits. It's a soluble fiber. It mops up blood fats and mops up cholesterol. This is why it's important for, you, for folks dealing with the ketogenic diet who are uh, eating a lot of fat. Soluble fiber can help slow down and uh, slow down the release of fat out of the blood. I shouldn't say that. I should say it should mop up some of the excess fat in the blood. That's a, a little bit better way of saying it. And uh, it can also uh, mop up excess cholesterol extra cholesterol. Not that cholesterol is that big a problem, but it's one of the best ways to lower your blood cholesterol if that's what you're interested in doing. In fact, if you are really interested in lowering your blood cholesterol, you want to be using beta-glucan before you're on any statin drug. Not only will you not have to deal with the toxicity of a statin drug and the side effects of a statin drug, you'll also get immune-boosting effects. Imagine if a statin drug had the same kind of benefits for cancer and and immune-boosting that a beta-glucan did. Can you imagine a drug that had the multiple benefits of a nutritional supplement? You'd want to buy stock in a drug company that ever came up, if they ever could come up with a drug, which is not possible, of course, that would have all of the side benefits of a nutritional supplement like beta-glucan. Topically, beta-glucan can slow down the effects of skin aging. It can reduce itchiness. It can reduce uh, the redness that's associated with dermatitis and eczema. It's been shown to reduce the symptoms of asthma. Not topically, but internally. This is a lot of stuff from one supplement, folks. And it, all it is is a fiber. An inert, or uh, otherwise inert fiber. And of course, you don't have to be sick to benefit from beta-glucan supplements either. You don't have to be sick to use uh, beta-500 or RVB-300. You can just consider it to be a general health nutrient that can prevent disease from showing up in the first place. Now... There are other, simp- there are other uh, substances that are similar to beta-glucan. Beta-glucan, as I said, is a long chain of glucose. Glucose, glucose, glucose. Just picture, a, 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 just picture a, 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 a strand of pearls, right? Each pearl is a glucose molecule, and the strand can be considered to be a glucan. But there are a lot of substances in nature that are like glucans. They're strings. They're chains. they got little pearls in them. But instead of glucose, they got other molecules. There's one really fascinating chain of sugars that doesn't have glucose molecules. It has fucose molecules. And this stuff is really anti-cancer and really important for good health. And we'll be talking about that uh, on our next Bright Side episode. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Back on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about anything we're talking about here today, fiber, beta-glucan, uh, digestive health issues, chronic long-term degenerative health issues, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to our conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to join the Bright Side Ben team, Longevity team, start a Longevity business, earn thank you checks, and help change the world, help me and my mission to help change the world, call the phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. And if you're dealing with acne or accelerated aging of the skin or you want the absolute finest, most powerful, most effective, 
topical anti-aging skin health products that are also important for healing, by the way. And that's how you can tell you got a good anti-aging product. If you can use it on a cut or a scrape and it helps heal that cut or scrape, you got yourself a good product. And that's indeed what you can do with our Truth Skin Health products. You can use them to heal your skin. You can use them to soften and moisturize your skin. You can use them to anti-age your skin. You can use them to reduce the symptoms of wrinkles. And when you use them, one of the greatest compliments I get is you're going to find you don't need to use as much makeup. And you're going to find that people are asking you, what the heck are you doing to your skin? That's, uh, we just did a little bit of market research on, uh, for, uh, on our True Skin Health products a couple weeks back. We interviewed, I think, I don't know, 10 or 15 people who have been using the truth for a couple of years or a year and a half now. Uh, and these are customers who've been uh, ordering multiple times. We've got some really good information. And the most, the most gratifying thing that these folks said is that, number one, they could go out without their makeup or they could go out without, they could go out wearing a lot less makeup and number two that people commented on what their skin looked like how good their skin looked how healthy their skin looked and these are things i've heard about uh, i've heard from my formulations now for years because these are health formulations at the end of the day this makes your skin look better because they're changing the health of the skin that's what vitamin c and vitamin a do and that's why my true skin health products have lots of both and that's why my True Skin Health products have no preservatives, no fragrance, no wax, no emulsifier, no surfactant, no water, no filler, no nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. These are health products for your skin. TruthTreatments.com, TruthTreatments.com. Okay, April 4, 236 6010 is our number. I just want to talk about a couple quick stories, and then we'll get your call, so hang tight. This is, uh, this is from the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Nearly 5 million Medicare prescription drug enrollees aren't taking their blood pressure medicine like they're supposed to. You know why? Because intuitively they know that the stuff is toxic and poison. This is one of the things they teach us in pharmacy school. They say, well, the greatest hindrance to effective pharmacotherapy is compliance. Patients are just not compliant. Well, yeah, because patients aren't stupid. They know deep down that the, th the drugs aren't any good for them. So doctors have a hard time forcing their patients to take drugs. I talk to patients all the time. They're like, I don't want to take these things because we intuitively know that they're toxic and they're deadly. And even if we don't intuitively, and we don't only intuitively know it, we physiologically know it. I talked to a lady yesterday who was on a beta blocker, a particularly nasty one called metoprolol. Some of you may have heard of this. Metoprolol used to be, the brand name used to be called, or probably still is, low presser. Metoprolol, low presser, whatever you want to call it, is a beta blocker. It blocks the neur neural energy to the heart, and you feel like crap when you take it. Oh, it lowers your blood pressure, though, but you feel like crap when you take it. Please, if you feel like crap after you take your medicine, that means you're being poisoned. That means you're being drugged. This is why they call it drugs, because they drug us. They poison us, and they're every bit as much drugs as schedule one illegal drugs that you go to jail for except the doctor is somehow authorized to give them to us anyway all right here's another one this is from uh, this is from the journal diabetes advanced glycation end products please remember that term it's i know it sounds complicated but it's very important because it is one of the major causes of aging whether we're diabetic or not advanced glycation end products age or ages are a leading cause of cataracts, they're a leading cause of glaucoma, they're a leading cause of autoimmune disease, they're a leading cause of, uh, of um, blindness, they're a leading cause of amputation, they're a leading cause of health misery. Whether or not we're diabetic, advanced glycation end products are re, uh, given that name, AGEs, because they're responsible for, in many ways anyway, for the aging process. Now we have them tied to renal function loss, kidney disease. Where have you heard that before? If you have kidney disease, remember your kidneys are filtering the blood. Rest assured you got a blood sugar problem whether or not your doctor told you you're a diabetic. Thus the stupidity of diagnosis from a doctor, at least when it comes to taking care of our health. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to, 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 to Eveline. Uh, Eveline in Arizona. Good morning, Eveline. How you doing? Oh, good morning. I'm delighted with your show. And Thank uh, you. Uh, yes, and Andy Anderson was uh, so uh, wonderful to uh, insist I call you. Oh, good. I, I love Andy. 
You, oh, do you, I, well, I do too. He's a good friend. <laughs> I still is. And um, my husband's a 66 year old um, uh, male who's uh, not really overweight except for the belly. So he's 230 pounds. Wait um, a minute. That's like Mrs. Lincoln. Aside from that, how did you like the play? Yes, exactly. exactly. <laughs> so he's over, he's got belly fat. Yeah, yeah. And he's 66 years old. Yeah. And he he's got millions of colleagues, millions of friends in, in the same position as him. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to lose the, does he want to lose the belly fat or does he have other stuff going on? Well, there's other stuff going on. Okay. Uh, when he was, um, uh, no blood pressure problems, no uh, diabetes, but some doctor decided he wanted to fool around with thyroid. And um, from there, it led to having sense in his heart, uh, diabetes. Oh, my God. It. Are you serious? And he, yeah, yeah. Five cents. He's been working in Norway. And just recently, he was returning from a conference in China. Did you say uh, five stents? Did you say five yeah. stents? Oh, my God. Five cents. That's what they... they How's he feeling? Oh. How is he feeling? Uh, well, he's exhausted after the okay. thyroid exodus. They, whoa, 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 Well, hang on, hang on. They took his thyroid out? No, part, they partially took the thyroid out. The part that was... Uh, on what in, basis did they do this? In his, well, it was extended into his thoracic cavity. So his thyroid and was so enlarged. They took part of it out? Yes, part of it okay, out. Okay, so, so I don't need to hear any more. It's just breaking my heart here, Evelyn. Let's take care of this, okay? Uh -huh. He had, yeah. He's definitely a diabetic. First of all, that, uh, I'm glad they left some of his thyroid. That's good news, okay? He's definitely got blood sugar problems. I don't want to say he's a diabetic because that's a diagnosis, okay? Doctors get all freaked out if somebody makes a diagnosis. Only doctors get to make diagnosis. Great. Doctor, you keep the diagnosis. We don't need diagnoses. Diagnoses. Your diagnosis doesn't matter. The fact that he's got the belly fat is all you need to know about his blood sugar. He's got to start working on that. Okay. Now, right. if his thyroid is compromised, that's going to make it a little bit difficult because that means all of the chemistry slowed down. All right, without the thyroid. All right, but he's got some of it left. So let's work with what we've got. Step number one: minimize his caloric intake. Anything, uh, uh, any resources that are expended on digesting food is going to be coming away from his um, oh, from his, uh, his overall health. And right now. Mm -hmm. All of his resources need to be marshaled towards health, not digesting food. He'll feel better when he fasts also. Without his thyroid, he's not going to digest his food effectively anyway. Hang on, Evelyn. we got to take a break. I'm going to finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Evelyn in Arizona. Did you get yourself a pen there, Evelyn? Because I'm going to go I fast. I have already been. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, first of all, you should know that uh, although your husband, the, the particulars of your husband husband's case are uniquely his, of course. Uh, basically, he's dealing with the same problem we're all dealing with, especially as we get older. Number one, uh, a slow metabolism. His is due to uh, problems with his thyroid, but we're all dealing with it to a certain extent. Number two, blood sugar issues. Whether or not he's diagnosed as a diabetic, the belly fat tells me that, and the fact that his thyroid's not working at 100%, is not functioning 100%, is also going to affect his thyroid. And also, if he's got a thyroid problem, he's got a digestive problem. Problem. They go hand in hand, and it's circular in the sense that the digestive problem probably caused the thyroid problem in the first place. So these are all aspects of health that we all have to do, everybody, but your husband probably more important than most of us because he's 66 years old, and plus he's been uh, surgically compromised. So first of all, the less he eats, the better off he's going to be. As long as he's nutriated, that means stick to uh, make sure he's doing lots of soups and juices, Okay, that will reduce the yeah. load on his digestive system. And I hope everybody listening is paying attention here because it's not just for Evelyn's husband. What's his name, by the way, your husband? Jim. Okay, this is not just for Jim. This is for everybody listening. All right, number one, liquid nutrition. That means the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Sip on it slowly. Make him homemade chicken soup, vegetable juices, and vegetable soups. Anything you can do to pre-digest his food is going to be in his interest. Stay away from fruit juice. Number two, uh, ketogenic diet. That is high fat, zero or low, very, very low, not zero, but very, very, very low carbohydrate. Very, very, very low carbohydrate. More calories from fat. 
and then a moderate amount of his calories from protein. Very important. Number three, make sure he's on a good all-around nutritional supplement program like the Healthy Star Pack to give him his basic nutrients. Number four, anything you could do to keep his blood sugar stable is going to be very important. Now, in addition to the ketogenic diet, I'd be doing fiber every single day, grinding up flaxseed fiber, maybe even getting some beta-glucan fiber as well. Uh, I like grinding it up, and you probably heard me say this, you put or, uh, organic golden flax seeds in a coffee grinder, grind them up, and sprinkle it on his salads, put it in his juices. Uh, you can put it right in water and drink it. I like it in coconut, and I'm sorry, in all, unsweetened almond milk is another way you can uh, do your uh, uh, fiber. Chia fiber uh, uh, can make a nice pudding. If you do it, fiber is going to be very helpful for him. It'll also help. It'll mop up his blood sugar, and it'll also help fill him up a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. Number five, slow the body down. Now, many of the strategies I just gave you will do that, but slow, deep breathing, massage, relaxation, meditation, yoga, anything you could do to slow the body down to activate the para sympathetic safety nervous system the safety nervous system versus the stress nervous system under conditions of a surgical removal of part of your body high blood sugar long-term disease your sympathetic or stress nervous system is going to be hyperactive and that will slow down healing and you'll end up in this downward spiral of disease which is as i say he's not alone a lot of us are dealing with this so so yeah. uh, doing what's called a pattern interrupt if for you guys who know anything about hypnosis or nlp a pattern interrupt is when you all of a sudden you stop doing something that you ordinarily do or would do, uh, the pattern interrupt in terms of uh, in terms of the sympathetic downward spiral is relaxing the body. Sitting on the couch and practicing slow deep breathing is going to be very helpful for him. Hot water, hot bath, massage, etc. There's so many more things you could do. Let me just toss a couple quickies at you. Uh, the B vitamins are very important as energy vitamins, and it's very likely he's deficient in those. You'll get those in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Sip on your B. BTT slowly, but I would go out and get some extra B vitamins. I would go out and get some extra vitamin A, 20,000 international units a day of vitamin A. I go get some zinc, 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate. Probably not a bad idea to make sure he gets some uh, vitamin E, 400 international units a day of vitamin E, as well as alpha lipoic acid, 400 or so milligrams a day, and then a little bit of sun. And, and that's by no means comprehensive, Eveline, but if he does what I just told you there, he's going to start to feel better, and it won't take very long at all. All right? Got to go. Thank oh, you so much for your call. God bless you. Excellent. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. Take care, Eveline. Okay, let's go to Ken in New York. Welcome to the Bright Side. Ken, what's up, buddy? Ken? Hello, Ben. Hi. I spoke with you a couple weeks ago. Okay. I'm a gentleman in Canada. And, okay. Uh, it's just after he orders some stuff. We order stuff for his diabetes. He's got uh, renal failure, and he's on the transplant list. Okay. And after I spoke to you, we uh, ordered some more things. We're planning to order some more things, but that way. But he's had a reaction. He bleeds to the uh, uh, products. He says blood sugar spiked, so he wants to. He wanted to talk to you again. His blood sugar spiked after he took the products. Yes. Um, I wouldn't necessarily blame it on the products, although because uh, he's doing glucosamine, sometimes that will make people's sugar spike, but it shouldn't spike that much. I don't know if I blame it on the products. W what is he taking? He was taking the sugar pack yeah. and uh, with the BTT 2.0. Well, I guess it was the original BTT. Just the two? Just the sugar pack and the BTT? Uh, no, he also had cardio sticks, which may, I don't know if that was a problem or not. Uh, what do you mean by blood sugar spiking? He said, no, I'm using Canadian numbers, so I don't know what they mean. He says he should be at 5, and it jumped up to 30. Uh, I, absolutely unlikely, almost zero possibility that that's a supplement okay. doing something like that. That's what I, suspected, uh, I had to check with Yeah, no, I mean, a slight bump maybe, and I don't even know if that would happen, but if he's on all the, that's not possible. Uh, but I'd, I'd love to talk to him if you want to have him call me. Send, him, send an email to he Ben. He's wondering if I, he, his problem is he works full time and then, well, have him call me. Let me give you my email. Tell him to send an email with his phone uh, with his phone number. Okay. Uh, or, okay. Ben B E N at K S C O dot com. I got to talk to him. That's that's the only way because that doesn't sound right to me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anything else? You want to know what to take, and I thank you very much. Oh, sure. Take care, man. Yeah, I have Ben at KSCO com. Glad to help him. That that doesn't sound right. Uh, that's a, a huge jump. I don't know what Canadian numbers are, but that's a huge jump. All right, Robin in Oklahoma. Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning. 
Good morning, Ben. Um, a little caveat before I talk to you about some digestion issues. Um, okay. You were talking about dogmas in uh, religion and everything, yeah. and sometimes it takes years to start thinking for yourself, and that's yeah. the way, that's the path that my husband and I went down as far as religion, and also, and here we are going down the path of dogmas. How, what do you mean by that? I want to hear what you mean by that. Uh, I, I well, you real quickly. Some, I, some preachers think for you, and then you realize, yeah. oh my gosh, I can do this on my own. <laughs> yes, I can, that's right. I can read, and what you're telling I can me read. is not true. Right. It's the same right. way with doctors. Right. I can read. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Doc- exactly. So it's, it's the exact same dogma, and you have to wake up and, and uh, pull your head out, as it were. Yes, um, I know exactly my, what you mean. Thank you for I'm, saying this, for sharing uh-huh. that. My mother-in-law, I have helped her get off of Nexium. Okay. And um, I recently talked her into getting off of Miralax because I said she didn't need antifreeze. She was in a car. <laughs> and so um, she has a bowel blockage because of adhesions. And I want to make sure that I'm, okay. you know, not going to stir up any issues there. Uh, I've got her clean, you know, pretty. Cl- her bowels pretty cleaned out with some oxy powder and uh, high doses of probiotics, and she's feeling tremendous. Awesome, awesome. So, That's what you want but, to do. And by the way, how'd you know about Miralax? Are you a healthcare professional by any chance? Yes, I am. I oh, am I, a uh, massage sound. therapist, and I, okay. I, I, I try to learn something new about health and nutrition every day. And okay. So, um, I listen to you, obviously. And okay, I, like I told I like you that. before, I, I don't agree with everything, but... Oh, I, you don't? I want to hear what you don't agree with. I don't well, want to hear what you do agree Someday I'll call. I'll, someday I'll Will call Will you do that? that. I, I, like to, I want to hear that. I want to hear what okay. you don't agree I, with, because everything, everything I talk about, I agree with 100%, just so you know. Well, <laughs> well, don't be like Rush Limbaugh. I love to hear what I say, and I like my hearing self saying it. So, you know, <laughs> we're all open to, to new ideas. I want to hear. I absolutely want you to call back, and I'll put you first I, up if you call. I, 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 know, I and I want you to write it down. I want you to write down everything you disagree disagree with, why well, you disagree, and I'm going to take it's you first very, up. very, very, very short list. I but want to hear back, them, though. Back to my question about my yes, mother-in-law. Ma'am. Am I yes. doing, I don't want to do anything because of the adhesions and the bowel blockage. Um, okay. I, I want to make sure that I'm leading her down the right path of the yeah. correct fiber. The adhesions are assigned, now she didn't have any surgery, right? Oh, it, lots of abdominal Oh, surgery. lots of it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Adhesions are tricky because they're actually a repair. They're the way the body's repairing itself. Right. So I, I, if right. she's got blockages for adhesions, that's long-term damage. That's yeah. mechanical damage. Right. And that's going to be a little bit difficult. But what you can do, and you're already doing it, I mean, you already got her feeling better, and that's what you want to do is you want to focus on her feeling better. Liquid nutrition, as much as you can get, that's what you want to focus on, especially chicken soup with the cartilage. Yes. You know, I'm sure you've heard yes. it a million times. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Liquid smoothies, juices. She's got to get her fiber, get a Vitamix. You want to get her as much nutrition without her intestine having to work to get it in. Follow well, me? I'm, I'm, I'm taking her down the right path then. You certainly are. And you know by the results. You know, Fantastic. by your fruits. By their fruits, you will know them, right? Okay. You, yes, you get, go by your results. God well, bless by, you. Thank you. By, by your poop, you will know them. Ah, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, Robin, I got to go. That's cute. Bye. You got to go. I'm sorry I left you on hold. If I did, please call back tomorrow. Uh, and, uh, that's all the time we have for today. Check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. And if you want to join the Longevity team, we'd love to have you aboard. Call 866-735-2470. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.